viewing it and to have the work have a sense of connection and community. And um, my, I was drawn to become an artist very early through a lot of positive experiences I had with art, music, movies, uh, TV even, um, and dance that, that gave me an experience of not feeling so alone, of feeling connected to something larger, of not feeling so strange, or, or feeling this sense of acceptance that I would see when something on stage mirrored back some part of me that maybe I was hiding or that I felt was sort of something wrong with or I had shame about. And um, so I want my work to do that as well. And um, in, the, in the service of that, have gathered an ensemble that I've been working with long term, uh, very diverse in body size and shape and age and background and identity and ability. Uh, I find that to be a really enlivening kind of group to work with and that the work that comes out of that is really exciting to me and feels very distinctly humanist uh, and always at every rehearsal makes me feel better about being myself with all my quirks and um, all the things that don't fit into the way I often feel like I'm supposed to look or behave. Um, and so uh, in the service of that goal of making work that connects in that way and that opens up and that includes, um, I've been looking at ways to include popular culture uh, idioms. And uh, a big one that, um, that I'm wanting to use in the service of this mission is uh, a reality TV. And so I'm, I'm working on a project with a filmmaker, Austin Forbord. We've been talking about it for about a year. It's probably going to be a multi-year project where we're going to make an experimental dance reality show. And um, dealing very directly with issues of diversity, with issues of uh, inclusion, um, trying to present on the camera and on stage uh, performers that will that will be reflective of who watches it so that it won't be this very big separation between who's doing and who's watching but this sense of of working with a very ordinary in a sense but extraordinary really uh humanness of everybody and so uh the reality show we're gonna we want to make it as a tv show use a tv show model and um also make it a series of live performances and and sort of co-opt the the model of competition of um who's the best and who, who fits in and who doesn't um, to sort of deconstruct that whole paradigm as well. So um, what I want to show you is a five minute clip of, this is our first experiment that we've made with our reality show. It's very complicated doing this for many reasons and we might get into that later in the discussion. So what we're doing is making a series of experiments. Um, and this is not the format that we're gonna necessarily take, but it was a, we spent a day where we just said, we just have to do something and see what this is like. So we had a competition between everybody in my ensemble of who is the most radical experimental artist. on an experiment to explore the trials and tribulations of what it means to be a performance artist. The contestants will be competing for a cash prize, a quarter of a G, $250, sure to make a difference in these performers' lives. You have dancers, musicians, artists, people who don't even define themselves at all. Who will win? Who will lose? Find out. All contestants are going to need to make a new piece. The piece will be a two to four minute duet incorporating movement, sound, costume, and some kind of narrative. Annalisa! <laughs> I feel a lot of anxiety and um, very nervous. And I'm hoping that, what, I, what I'm hoping from being here is that I somehow end up kind of in the middle. So I don't go lose and I don't win. And if I end up in the middle, then I'll be really happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Myself and Lucia have very different um, techniques. It's like, I'm gonna come over to you. Yeah. And I'm not sure to do what. Especially with the, uh, the props that were given and the, uh, the instructions, and, and try to kind of steer away from that. To 
kind of sidestep the predictable or, or do the predictable and then go beyond the predictable and see um, if, we can, if we can find something that uh, people won't expect. Maybe you can you know, be out there and you can see you know, my, you know, that how vulnerable it is. You know, I think putting performance art in a competition is absolutely perfect. It's exactly what should be happening at all times. It is what's happening at all times. It's always a competition. All art is a competition. I won't be giving feedback. Laura, who is a, a doesn't, she's a bitch. Can I give feedback before they start yeah. running it? Um, look, this this is not going to work right here. This little green thing. It it's too weird. You know what's this face thing here? I can't see your mouth. That's the whole point, though. Let's show you. Let we'll show you. Okay. Let's show. Is this supposed to be a performance? Or is it just practice? I can't hear you. Move downstage. So I need to have you project a whole lot more because it looks like right now you're kind of playing at doing what you're doing. I would suggest when you start going crazy here with them is that you get more involved with them and kind of like, you know, teasing them and making them excited and then maybe start running around and they start running around too and then they just overwhelm you. I think the beginning could build a little bit more so I might have been a little bit too quick to say louder, but we still need to hear you. Okay. Um, saying, you need to hear what you're saying. Yeah. Otherwise it's, otherwise it's confusing. I'm uh, one of the celebrity judges. I um, brought in some of the horse heads, some artwork. Did he go grab the horses or he doesn't need them? I feel like the more we incorporate those horses, the less successful it's going to be. I think, I think we, I, I really don't want to be literal with them. Yeah. Okay. stretch themselves a little bit. I hope to see them break through walls that allow them to just get to the point. A lot of times creating art is very circuitous and because of the time restrictions that we've given them, they don't have time to say maybe. They're just gonna have to get straight to it and we'll see, we'll see how well they do today. for sharing that with us. We're going to have a chance to have questions and more discussion, but I think right now we're just going to move on to our next panelist. Hi. It's on now. Hi, I'm Monique Jenkinson. Um, so in just a quick addition to the lovely introduction I received from Mary, um, the video I'm going to show is actually, most of the work that I do is, is theatrical, dance-based, work um, in many different contexts. But um, this piece I'm gonna show is actually made for video and it's a music video, oh, and it's a music video. <laughs> and it's um, a song that uh, was uh, written by um, my husband who's a musician, DJ, um, and uh, the vocal is actually performed by me and then he, the, um, and we made this video that was directed by Kia Simon, who's actually made a lot of dance videos, so...